good day. This is Prophet Eswende. Thank you so much for joining us. If you are joining us for the first time, I'd like to welcome you. This is the true prophet of the Lord. I'm guided by the word of God. I take it as it is. I do not add or subtract. If you happen to hear anything new, just know that it's a revelation that comes from up above. Today we're discussing one of the most important topics, you know, just to say that can the dead speak to us in our dreams? Amen. Can I just repeat the topic? You know, uh, to say that, um, can the dead speak to us in our dreams? Amen. And when they speak to us because they are gone, can we take their message or reject it? What do we do with the messages that they're giving to us in our dreams? Amen. Some of you, as you're watching me, you know that Prophet has, I once had a dream where I saw somebody that died years ago speaking to me in a dream. It could, them, it could be them giving you a message warning you about something or giving you a message of encouragement it doesn't matter what type of message they're giving unto you but one thing that we like to know for sure because we have heard pastors saying you know what once people are gone they are gone forever amen but people will say that you know what uh, we cannot worship the dead meaning we cannot go and take out messages from the dead you know the bible says he is god is the jealous god he says worship nothing no other gods but me alone amen in the church they always encourage to say that when people are gone we cannot go to the graveyard and begin to worship them and ask things from them but coming to other people and their culture they believe you know what even though somebody might be dead, you know, I can still go to the graveyard, uh, talk to them, ask for a blessing. But with us, we have been taught once people are gone, they are gone. The only person that we can ask things from, the only person that we can worship, it's God. Amen. But the question that we have today is that how come these people are gone, but still they come to us in our dreams? Amen. They do come to us in our dreams. One thing that I would like to confirm is to say that God can use somebody that is dead to come and bring a message unto you. Amen. And the devil can also use somebody that is dead to come and bring a message unto you. I would like to start by sharing a testimony. Sometimes it's good to share. They say sharing is caring. Uh, you know what? When my great-grandmother died, you know, uh, she died with a secret that everybody has been asking themselves, looking at my grandmother to say that, who is the father of my grandmother? You know, my grandmother, while my great-grandmother was alive, she used to ask her, I would like to know who my father is. But my great-grandmother could not tell her who the father is. To be honest with you, my great-grandmother was a very, very powerful intercessor. When she died, she died at the age of 120. She was respected by so many, so many pastors came to attend the funeral. But she died with a secret that nobody knew in the family. After some time, when we buried her, you know, when I was sleeping, I had a vision where she came to me. She was so beautiful. She looked like a bulb, you know. The color was just like gold. She was so beautiful. I've never seen her like that. She looked so young and beautiful. You know, she didn't scare me in that dream. When we were talking, I even forgot that she's gone. Then she began to talk to me, to say you know what while i was waking somewhere somebody raped me you know and then i became pregnant i could not talk about it it was so hard and then she told me the name of the person and where this person was coming from you know when i woke up in the morning the first thing that i did was to say my grandmother is dead she can't be coming talking to me then i called my mother you know i spoke to her to say that you know what i saw my grandmother and my mom was like what did she say and then i said she said to me this is what she said the message that i've given you then my mother said to me you know what call your grandmother and i call my grandmother you know it was like some kind of closure to my grandmother it was like the message i gave her brought so much peace amen it brought so much peace unto her spirit so what do i have to say sometimes god can bring people that are dead in our lives to speak to us in our dreams i remember this other testimony that i'm about to share it's a colleague of my husband she said that her mother died long time ago then when her mother died the mother came in a a dream to tell her you know what go outside it's about to rain she said that there was clothes outside trying to dry out some clothes and it was important for her to wear something out of the clothes that was outside then she said immediately she woke up when she woke up she quickly went outside she did what her mother told her then when she came back two seconds later 
then it began to rain. Amen. So what am I trying to say? I'm not saying that we must worship the dead, but I just want to confirm that do not be afraid. When they give you a message, you have to compare it with the, with the scriptures that have been given unto us. Some people that are not born again, um, somebody can come and say, I want you to go and burn this. I want you to go and do that. It comes down to the level of our beliefs. But for us who are Christians, whenever we receive a message from the dead, we have to ask ourselves, is this in line with the word of God? Amen. The reason I'm saying this is that sometimes God can bring a message through somebody that has died years ago. Uh, secondly, I would like to say that the testimony that I have also, it is one of my father-in-law. My father-in-law, I've never met him before. But when I first got married, when I first went to my husband's house, he came to me in a dream. And then he said to me, I would like to welcome you into the family. The first thing that I did when I woke up was to speak to my husband to say that did your father have this type of a t-shirt? And I began to tell him that he was wearing something like this. Your father looked like this. And then my husband was like, yeah, it's him. He loved that t-shirt so much, you know. So what am I saying? Sometimes they can come to us in dreams to bring good messages. Sometimes they can come to warn us in dreams. Sometimes they can come to comfort us in dreams. This particular dream that I want to share is a very close friend of mine. I used to pray with her. Her mother died, you know. When her mother died, she said that I was sitting on top of the bed, you know, crying. I didn't know what to do. As a child, you're not yet 18 years old. You know, sometimes when you're old, people can say that you are an other. She said that I was still young but when I woke up you know she said when she was sleeping it's like her mother came to comfort her you know her mother carrying her holding her but her mother it's gone she was already dead and then you know she says that after the funeral everybody was gone there was nobody to give me a message or to comfort me or to tell me anything it was only me lying in my mother's bedroom who was no longer there she said that very same night that is when her mother came and comforted her she said that it felt so real you know she said the the way my mother was hugging me it took away all the pain that i had i know to some people it might sound crazy to say that can the dead they really come and talk to you that day they're, they're gone so another thing that i'd like to say as a warning sometimes the devil can use the dead to come and distract us i remember in this particular testimony that I would like to share, there was a woman who was married years ago. Lucky enough, I was there to hear this type of information as she was being delivered. Her husband died, but the woman confessed to say that every night I'm enjoying myself in bed with my husband. You know, he comes and then like the usual, you know, after the death of the husband, she will sleep with her husband from time to time. And then the pastor began to pray for her and deliver her from what from a spiritual husband that took advantage of the image of her husband so what do i have to say sometimes the dead or the devil can use the dead to come and distract us if the dead come in your dream tell you to say go kill somebody go do something that is wrong go steal you know you know for sure that you know what this can be god this can be good you know sometimes people are short it's the way people die and then somebody just come i want my revenge i want you to go and shoot this particular person because they are the one that took my life the moment you take their message and do something like that what is going to happen to you you are going to be arrested even though the dead has spoken so what do i have to say we have to be careful with the messages that we receive in our dreams but one thing i wanted to confirm for sure if you have had a contact with the dead in your dreams it's not demonic it's not satanic god can speak through anything even those that are already gone there are people who have never met their parents but in their dreams they do see them speaking to them guiding them showing them the way one thing we do not promote is to worship them we can worship nothing else but god alone he says i don't want any other god but me alone so what do i have to say we cannot worship the dead but they can bring us good messages for us who are born again we have to check the scriptures what they have said we have to check it 
are they right? Is this in line with the word of God? They cannot tell me to say that go to a Sangoma while I believe in God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I have to reject some of the dreams that I have, even though we respect the dead. In our culture, we say that once the dead has spoken, you rather do what they have done. I don't know. There's a mystery of sin. I don't want the ghost to come and harass me. If somebody died and leave a message to say that I want you uh, to do this, you have to do it in respect and in honor of the person. Why? Because they said the word of the dead are powerful. We have to respect it. But nevertheless, I just wanted to confirm the dead can speak to us in our dreams. I have experienced that. I wanted to share that with you, that it is not satanic. It is not demonic. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. God bless you. Mm. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like. Amen.